Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is Dream Hopper. This is uh, another Metroidvania game. It's another uh, Metroidvania game I found uh, using the metroidvania.com site. It's uh, actually here, it's uh, on thetrowmy.com slash difficult earl. And um, well, let's play it. I'll be playing it blind and um, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing the, the slime turn yesterday, and let's see uh, what this game is. I've saw, seen a little bit of the intro to uh, set up the controls and everything, and uh, not much now. Here we have our character who's uh, been bullied by God or something. <laughs> well, here we're in his world now, this with a stupid hat. A world of pain. It doesn't really look like a world of pain, it looks really cloudy and floaty and nice. <laughs> Oh, it's a lucid dreamer. What a dick. He's our worst nightmare. Probably end boss as well. Why can't you just leave us alone? <laughs> He's totally hyped about it. <laughs> and it is probably also a, uh, uh, a insert of the creator. Jason. Mm, we'll have to see if the creator is actually named Jason. Anyway, it's a little platform, and I love the little walking animation. Like from stopping, if you shuffle, there's this little, yeah, what do you call it? He hangs back and leans forward, and then you get this wonderful little hunchback uh, walking around. And yeah, gotta love the animation. Um, anyway, I haven't done much yet. I've died to this uh, little jelly, but just to test the sound. And I haven't seen much further than here. Um, here's some spikes, and here's an enemy. I can jump on the spikes, and I can also get hit a lot. <laughs> can I jump on the enemy? No. Also, um, hmm, did my bar in the top left decrease there? I have no idea. So, can't jump on the enemies, and can't jump on the spikes. Um, but you can walk through the spikes. That's, uh, well, that's nicer than the game I did last night. Or well, at least that you can walk into the spikes, and I guess I really should get all the coins. Don't like coins much in Metroidvanias. Um, oh, that thing on the top might be a coin meter. Coins are a very uh, simple thing in platformers, and if you have to collect them all in the Metroidvania, it's usually not very good. But uh, we'll see what happens in this one. We've nearly filled our coin meter. Let's see what that does. More spikes also. Yeah, I'm getting some slowdowns. And, oh, it increased my health. So, okay, get coins for health. And uh, also to show where the path is where you haven't been yet, I guess. Um, hmm. Let's try and get that coin. Although, it's going to be hard. Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, left or right, and one big floating jellyfish. Um, well, let's, I'm happy we checked the right first. Hmm, he might be a lock or some, some kind. So, what's with the slowdown? The game is in flash, and uh, lots of things open at the moment. We found a mystical X charge gun! How would they ever use it, the X charge gun? Hmm. What could that mean? Is that maybe... Yeah, this button I mapped with my joy controller with Joe the key. It's uh, kinda floaty. <laughs> also, you can charge. Ooh, look at that animation. Oh, that's amazing. And even get pushed back a little bit. Uh, yeah, and you open that door. Can I do that in the air? I guess you could use this as a extra little floating device, especially since um, it slows down your fall. Ah, that is a nice little side bonus. It doesn't slow the fall down by much, but it's something. Huh, nice. That's a neat way to do it. Um, eat fireball. And, uh, small ones work as well. Two hits for a some jellyfish, that's fine. One hit for the small ones, no need to charge for that. Maybe for the jellies though. 
Um, hmm. Coins. This is why coins are annoying. You have to get them all and now I have to walk back and do this gauntlet again. Also, I like that it's a little bit floaty, the, the bullets. It's different. And you're throwing them, it's the, the idea. Taking longer for the coin bar to fill now. If you have some more levels, can we duck and shoot? No, we, we can get hurt. Um, could also have gone to the right. Let's check that first before we leave. Now, full on Metroidvania mode. Um, hmm. Leap of faith, huh? Oh well. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen unless... No. You see, you kind of seem to lose your forward momentum with uh, charging in the air, so... Not really a uh, good way to... Uh, get past big pits. But uh, it will give you a little bit extra air time, I think. Real hot. Especially when the game is like turning around from left to right, the little scrolling, and then a little bit slow down. And uh, yeah, it's time for a boss. And hey, it's uh, this dick again. Sup, dweeb. <laughs> yeah, we have the mystical X charge gun. It's amazing. Oh, oh, in this summon the boss works. Okay, not fighting him directly yet. Uh, looks like spamming is the way to go. Oh, and I'm dodging as well. I'm not a full blast. Ooh, that is a lot of damage though. Oh, you can't turn around when you are charging. Okay. Bam! <laughs> that was a nice little exchange. It's really cinematic. And we got the key and that opens this door. Okay. Oh man, loving this. This is a jam game? That's amazing for a jam game. Probably need a full blast to kill something like that. I really can see it. Um, what's that? Right, this feather. Double jump? <laughs> a limited number of times. Only once. Okay. Well, now we have more movement. Um, we check down there again. The leap of faith we can totally do now, but we could also go to the left. Ah. Um, let's go to the left first. Um, looks like there's not much restrictions to the uh, double jump. And it gives you a lot of extra height. Oh, you bastard. Kinda of running out of health, but uh, doesn't seem <sighs> again doesn't seem to be much of a uh, death uh, um, setback. <laughs> Probably best idea to die there. Oh fuck! How about the charge? That's really dangerous to do. And kill them in two hits. Yeah. Normal hits are better. Why? Hmm. Maybe there is something with the double jump. Is it gone? That's weird. Is double jump a limited power up thing? goes when you die. Oh fuck! Okay, shouldn't charge it there. It's too dangerous. Pretty weird that the double jump is gone now. Did 
There you go. And yeah, we have the double jump power back. Oh, it's a set number of things. That's a bar in the top right. So, got to be careful with them. And if you run out, you have to kill another big jelly. Okay. Uh, and they respawn. That's the way to do it. It's uh, like a rent a double jump. Not sure. So loving the music. Blast him. Might be something up there, but uh, we're not getting there without some sort of a wall jump or high jump. We're in the ego. Uh, we're definitely in the brain. <laughs> I'm probably going to go to the, the id and the super id if we haven't been there yet. Things like that. Uh, a little fire hydrant enemy. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm loving the spider work. And hey, there's a Goomer, uh, which actually is a snail. <laughs> the enemies are super dramatic, right? You know what I'm talking about. Um, well, let's get all the coins and I'll to get that. We go through here. It doesn't seem to be any reason to kill the enemies, uh, they respawn and they don't drop coins or whatever. Let's uh, stick on the upper path and maybe move to the lower path later. Ah uh, no, I kinda need to see it and I kinda need to get all the coins. Probably going to need help with later boss as well. Also, some slight maybe delays with the controls sometimes. Uh, not really that bad. We filled our double jump meter. Huh. <laughs> you saw the screen, the shot that came back on the left side of the screen. We scrolled it off and scrolled it back in. Nice. Uh, there was just this here, huh? Just some coins. I should have gone inside here first. Although, how am I going to get out? Huh, I'm thinking that might uh, be the answer! Fuck. That might be our uh, rent a. Um, Wall climbing ability thing. Especially since it comes from sna a snail. It's probably also a limited thing. But later on in the game we'll get uh, permanent versions. to kill him, yeah, like that. Let's grab the coin first, and then we'll kill this big snail. Let's see what that power up is. Oh, uh, slow down. Oh, I missed. Yeah. Sticky gloves. Maybe it is the permanent upgrade. Hey, and we have infinite wall jumps. And maybe even some corner jumps. Oh god. 
this might get very tough. Air hey, the big slings respawn, yeah. And there's even a meter, and I've lost my double jump by the looks of things. Okay, so you can only rent one ability at a time. But, uh, okay. Well, that's just weird things for exploration. Might need to have places where you switch between double jump and and uh, other jumps and wall climbing. Now, uh, yeah, we we'll need to recharge. Um, I wonder if I can hit him. Yeah, he's low. Probably not. Good enough. Um, we're not getting that from here unless we had double jump and wall climbing. <laughs> Straight onto the fucking snail. To some uh, nasty platforming already. That's fucking Ninja Gaiden over here with wall jumping over pits. Um. <laughs> Can't fire while I'm sliding from the wall. Well, I kind of do, but you fire into the wall, so can't use it as a way to easily kill enemies. Well. Down the wall. Um, oh fuck. Let's just stun up these fire hydrants to death. This will be harder. Wait a second. Jump. Ooh, I made it. Phew. First time as well. And now we're here. And we switch back to the double jump. Oh man, I'm loving the design decisions of this. It's really, really, very good. Oh, I can't go in there. Messing with enemy designs. Big ge jellyfish uh, making sure you can't kill the uh, small one easily. Also, there's no fall damage. Nice to know. Rebound, please. Again. Why not? Yeah, you're supposed to wake up, you dick. <laughs> oh, oh. Nearly fell off, but the uh, double jump saved my ass. Um. Oh. Did we really wake up? Is this one of the endings? <laughs> hmm. It gave me shorter than I thought, but there is still more to explore. If this is the end. Yeah, there's like say a little message on the side that someone commanded when he wakes up is the end of the game. Um 
and you just you just get this black screen. That's a weird way to end it. Hmm. Press some buttons. Weird. Uh. much extra paths in the game as well so I guess we're just done and maybe this crashed or maybe that's just it and a little weird ending like this uh, that keeps you on your toes um, let's refresh though kind of want to look in that one different path which I missed there's not much else there is to the game I think um, now you also get the intro animation by the way <laughs> there you go uh, let's continue where do we start yeah here and we still have some walking powers but that's gone um well let's go down then and let's yeah have the mouse out of the screen Splits. I need to be careful with my double jump. Um, I'm guessing this is closer and faster to the leap of faith. Now we had our uh, one boss that the game had. Oh, yeah. Not getting up to that, huh? Okay. Apparently also in yesterday's video, uh, the creator actually uh, contacted me and I could have just pressed continue instead of uh, starting a new game again. And then I would have had something like this. Uh, well, I remember for this game at least. That's different. Okay, this hallway is nice, but I can't use my double jump. So, okay, there's our level faith. Let's fill up our bar. There's an hidden chamber with a ton of money. And then more, another double jump so you can get out. That's it. I'm guessing that's really all there is to the game. Wow. Well, let's get to the ending again and see if finding this uh, hidden chamber changes the ending, maybe. Or far away from that. I'm supposed to be getting me a while. Refill that power. Smart game design, by the way. Having the, the, the enemy which drops that being near this pit, which is you, since you don't have a weapon, you are forced to first go down the pit. And, uh, that's a uh, good design in Metroidvanias. Double jump. Uh, best to kill that jellyfish. Also, if you fall down the platform, you can still double jump. Very nice. Not much games we don't about that though. When you're a ghouls and ghosts kind of stuff. Definitely just need to do the ego again to get the power up. Which will let us continue. Hmm. It seems 
seems like I'm still kind of missing some coins though before I get another part of my health meter. There's probably a finite number of coins. Oh wait a minute. There's probably more in the left. Like back near the start. Is there maybe a, a top path that I missed? Sorry to have to go back again. Uh, whatever. Um, let's just make sure we leave this room. Well, uh, no, we still have enough double jump power. Okay, back to the left. See if there's anything here which I can do. Hmm, this will be a tough jump, but possible. Not all that tough even. There was a little cloud here, yeah. Which is asking for a double jump onto it. Uh oh. Might not be high enough for that. Um, there's a little sprites in the background here, but it's not like we're standing on a higher tile. There might not be anything here. I think it's, yeah. I'm getting max double jump there and they didn't make it. So that wasn't a thing. Maybe something still hidden somewhere then, but where? Like going the game pretty good now. It might be making hidden walls and stuff like that then. Um, need to recharge the double jump. Towards the ending again. I don't even need a food to kill him. here just go on oh. need to stand like you I'm rushing things here again so we can get the thing. Uh, even to note that the snail is special it has a little uh, shimmering on it. So you know that hey this animal enemy has a shimmer maybe I should look, take a look at that. challenge room of the game which is I guess the final boss uh, I probably have enough to move on let's see if I can make it this time yep Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. 
Okay, let's jump again. This this jump is the final boss of the game, apparently. Hmm. Is there still something I'm really missing? And died. Well, that's okay. Uh, now I have full health for this final session. He only does one damage with a big charge shot. That is not very impressive. Especially when we have this much health. Hey, there's a shimmy over there. Hmm. Is that because the enemies are spawning or something? It still hurts that place. That's weird. Hmm, maybe. It's it's located that I can't do a, a charge shot there. No. Pillar. That is fishy. And here's the fucking ending again. Or maybe I'm supposed to do something else when this shows up. Hmm. Well, let's see. Can't go further. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. I, I could go back and explore the rest of the game, see if there's a trick. Is this a trick or something? But it's not like it hinted at that. It, it hints at you to go on, and then it uh, just the alarm goes, and the game ends. Hmm. Nice riff uh, poster there, and he's a poster of himself, or the guy he dreamed he said he was. And uh, fade to black again. <laughs> Weird little ending, but uh, oh well, that's that's indie for you. That's experimental. Um, still funnish game, fun game though. Well, love the art and music was fun, but yeah, maybe I just tad too short. But yeah, that happens with jam games. Uh, still great work. Um, okay, well that was it for this video. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.